Welcome back to Pete's workshop. Today we're going to work on the coolant system. You can see the bottle in the background there is not great. There's a really good method described um, on some of the forums for the 2.0 TDI engines. It should pretty much apply to all Volkswagens though. So I'm going to try and document that with a, a video. Some people have asked for it. I'm going to go and get this up to operating temperature and um, we'll get stuck in. So definitely needs a good flush. You can see there's not much red color left to it. It's pretty much just dirty water. So the plan is to flush the coolant system, uh, remove the bottle, clean the bottle. Hopefully we can get that all looking like new again. Okay, so here is this process. We've got a vacuum that can be set up to suck liquids. The idea is to suck the fluid directly out of the reservoir. This hose here goes across, joins into a T, which one goes to the engine, and the other one comes to here, which is the uh, top neck of the radiator. So you can see I've pulled that clip back and I'm getting ready to remove that hose. So the person that has talked about this on the forums says you remove this hose over here and you can just put your finger on it and cause it to cause a vacuum and let it go. And as you do that, that will cause that whole system to swirl quite well. Um, and I don't know if I need to seal this off really well or if I'm just actually sucking the liquid out. But um, in any case, yeah, see that down on the bottom, you probably won't get a really good seal putting that on there. So I might actually get it set up to seal here as well, if I can, and um, we'll give it a go. I've just gone and put some rubber tape around here. That way now I can put it all the way down inside the reservoir, almost such as the bottom. You also got to look out for the two little prongs for the level sensor in there as well. So you don't want to do any damage to those, but that'll give me a good seal around the top of the bottle as well. So removing this, I'll probably lose a little bit of water from the top of the tank. Yep. Lift this up. Okay, well that certainly worked. There was definitely a lot of turbulence in there, almost foamy as well. Yeah. Didn't seem to have much of a um, much of a change when I blocked this off, but I could feel a little bit of a vacuum on there and on that top port as well. So I think now what I'll do is check the level in the vacuum, fill it up with some water and do that process a couple of times. Quite a good volume in there. Um, I'd say that's actually done a really nice job of that. Very, very simple. Let's keep going. Okay, just filled it up again. So we're gonna go for another flush. Okay, again, I think that worked really well because I filled it with cool, just tap water, but I could instantly feel the water was warm coming out of it. So that's great. It means it's actually pulling it out of the system. So cleaning the bottle out was much more difficult than I was hoping, but uh, I guess it came up much better than what it was. It's just really hard to get up inside these fins considering you need this big return on here. So anyway, I've put the clamp back on the bottom, this one back here on the top, filled it up with demineralized water, 
um, and water was coming out here as well which is as expected so I'm just gonna warm it up again um, I'll do one final flush with the vacuum and then I should be ready to put coolant in it. Okay, so I've just been for a drive around the block again with the fresh, um, just distilled water only, just to circulate that all through the system. Let's have a look uh, inside the reservoir. So it's still pretty dirty in there. Still glad that uh, I'm gonna do another flush or two. Doing the exact same coolant flush on the Passat. Curious about how much fluid this is actually pulling out with the vacuum. So let's tip it in the bucket and find out. It's got a litre mark on the side. Wow, that is pretty dirty. Let's go looking at this. So that is three litres. There's four right there. So about three litres it's pulled out. Okay, I found that this is working really well also. So this relies on the engine running and water is actually pumping out of the top of the radiator. And I've just got that going down into the bucket there. So I can keep topping this up with the hose the water pump is pushing it through the engine and out the top of the radiator so that also is flushing out the system really nicely as well Yeah, you can see the water coming out of there now is quite clean much cleaner than what it was and bear in mind that that tube is not perfectly see-through as well so that has uh, done really well so that was just topping up with the engine running blowing it through did a refill did a vacuum again so i've done quite a few vacuums quite a few flushes and it's looking much better